Hi, I'm Kurt and I'm with Traverse Tool Company. Have you ever needed to machine something in a workpiece and you needed to get it an exact distance from an edge? To do that and get it that exact, you need an edge finder. So if you're not familiar with how to use an edge finder, first of all, this video is for you, but secondly, you're gonna be surprised at how easy it is. So I'm gonna use an edge finder with a 200 thousandths diameter edge finder tip on it. So let's get it going and I'll show you how they work. You turn your machine on and drop the edge finder down right next to your workpiece. Then give the point a little bit of a kick with your finger and get a lot of wobble in there. The more eccentric you have, the sooner you'll know when you're getting close to your workpiece. So you move the workpiece in towards the edge finder, just sneak up on it. As the wobble calms down, you know you're getting really close. And wait for it to kick out. All of a sudden, it's going to kick to the side just like that, and then stop. As soon as it kicks out, stop. Come over and set the zero on your indicator, or if you're using a DRO, set your zero on that. And then double check yourself, move the workpiece back away from the edge finder, give it another kick for a nice big wobble, sneak back in on it again, and as you get closer, the wobble calms down, and wait for it to kick out, like that, and as soon as it does, stop, stop moving the machine, check your zero, and if your indicator is zeroed, you're good. So now I'm gonna move the edge finder up out of the way. I have my indicator on zero, and I'm gonna move in the same direction, 100 thousandths. And there it is right there. So now the center of this spindle is set right to the edge of this workpiece, dead on, because I moved it 100 thousandths, because of the fact that the diameter of the edge finder is 200 thousandths, so meaning the center of the edge finder to the outside is 100 thousandths. So that's why I moved it that amount. I hope this video was helpful to you and that you learned how easy it actually is to use an edge finder. But maybe you were looking around and you found some edge finders that were different than the one that I was using in this demonstration. So to learn a little bit more about those, Follow this link to another video about them. And stay tuned and see what videos are coming up next.